That's Chris Phillips. Uh, we're just going over basic um, hail cipher here and how to encrypt a message. Um, first thing you're going to need is your key. So uh, A through Z, um, 0 through 25, and then we added 26 and 27 for a period in space. Um, the message we're going to be encrypting is uh, this message here. Look at the dopeness in that, not the whackness. When we go through there and we go over all the characters in the spaces, there's 46 spaces or spaces and characters in this. So when that's um, put into the key, we get this message out here. It's 46, 11, 11, 14, 10, space is 26. So once we get our message put into the in numerical form, we take the first four letters. This is the most uh, or the most basic way to do it. Take the first four letters uh, or numbers and put them into a four by four matrix. We multiply it by our key. So here's our random encryption key, seven, thirteen, eight, two, and you go across and down. So if you look over here at the math, eleven times seven plus fourteen times eight, you get one eighty nine. And then we go 14 times 7, 10 times 8, still going across and down, 178. And um, keep going with that, we get 189, 171, 178, 202. So these are the first four letters of our message encrypted. So as we go through and multiply this across, we got that right. So we went through the rest of the message in blocks of four. Here's our first block second block of four, third block of four, fourth, fifth, and so on. Each time we're doing this, we're multiplying it by the encryption key, 71382. So every time we multiply, we get these numbers, 182, uh, 338, 341, and 299. Me and uh, our, our team here, we work through this to get all these different numbers. So now the message is encrypted and it can be sent. So this message is sent to whomever is on the other side, they get this encrypted message. Now they need to decrypt it. So to decrypt it, they need the key. So the 71382. Uh, to decrypt these numbers in this message, you, we need to get the inverse. So to get the inverse, you set uh, the right side to 1001, and you solve for it. Um, and so when we worked it out, this is what we got. Um, negative 1 over 45, 13 over 90, 4 over 45, and negative 7 over 90. So now we can take this inverse um, key and multiply it by the encrypted message, and we get the first four letters that we originally um, encrypted back at the beginning. Um, look, so that's the basic way it is, and you would go through and do this for each and every block, decrypting it with the inverse, and then you could reassemble that message and using the key, and it would be decrypted. So for the last um, block down here, we only had, we're short on the block of four. So we only had two letters, um, 18 and 26. So we added an extra two 27, so it's periods. And they come out to 405, 405. So if you do have, you do need to fill in the rest of the block, just either add spaces or add periods. And that's it.